common cisco modules welcome to irash academy an unlimited learning platform please subscribe to the channel for more videos welcome to ccna 203.1 implementing and administering cisco solutions chapter number 10 common cisco modules in this chapter we will explore the common cisco modules installed in cisco routers and switches for the added connectivity we will explore the common interface cards that can be installed in cisco devices we will explore about blade supervisor engine interface modules in cisco chassis switches what is an interface an interface is simply means a port in a network device to provide the connectivity. As shown in the picture, we can see here a Cisco 2800 series router. In this router, we can see there are multiple ports available for the connectivity. This port is referred to as an interface. This router has a console interface, USB interface, voice interface, serial interface etc so interface simply mean a port in a network device for the connectivity cisco device interface types there are three types of interfaces available in cisco devices number one fixed interfaces number two modular interfaces number three blades and modular interfaces let's discuss in details now let's discuss about the devices with fixed interfaces. Fixed interfaces are the permanent interfaces integrated with Cisco devices when they brought from the manufacturer. As you can see in the screen, there is a Cisco Catalyst 3750 network switch. In this switch, you can see there are 48 Ethernet ports available in this switch. These ports are fabricated by the manufacturer when they sell this device later on later on end user are not allowed to make any changes in this device these ports are fixed and later it cannot be changed this kind of devices are called fixed interface devices now let's talk about the devices with modular interface modular interfaces are the electronic provisions provided in the cisco devices to install additional add-on cards to improve the features as you can see in the screen there is a device cisco 3925 in this picture we can see here some interfaces these interfaces are fixed interfaces The user cannot make any changes in these fixed interfaces that is fabricated by the manufacturer when they sell the device. Now here we can see multiple modular interfaces where we can install the additional cards like one interface card or voice interface card. Plus here we can see there are additional modular interfaces so there also we can install the additional modules as per our requirement so this kind of device provide a facility to the end user to add additional interfaces as per the requirement one of the mandatory requirement to add additional interfaces First of all, the device should support that hardware and device operating system should support that feature of the interface card. Otherwise, the interface card cannot be detected or cannot be used. Now let's discuss about the devices with blade and modular interface. A modular switch or chassis switch is a type of network switch which can be configured using field replaceable unit called blades. In this picture, we can see a chassis switch. Basically, the chassis switch is a box-type network switch which contain 
multiple field replaceable unit called blades. So in this image, we can see this switch contain lot of blades. Each this unit is called blades. We can remove these blades and install any switch module as per our requirement. The right side picture you can see multiple switch module. This is a replaceable switch module. We can install it as per our requirement. So this kind of devices are called devices with blade and modular interfaces. What can I install in a modular switch? Consider the device in the screen. Here we have one section of interfaces with fixed interfaces. Then we have multiple modules available to install a WAN interface card or the voice interface card. Then we have single wide module and double wide module. So what is a single wide module? Single wide module are the modules that compatible with half of the switch size. And the double wide module is the module that is compatible with full switch size. As per our requirement, we can install a single wide module or double wide module into the switch or router or whatever it is. Now let's talk about the module. What is a module? Network module are provision in Cisco device that allow to carry the other interface cards such as one interface card and voice interface card. Let's consider the image shown in the screen. This is an example of a network module. In this network module, we have a provision of two WAN interface card. And in addition, we get two fast Ethernet port. So this network module is capable to power up two WAN interface card in addition to two fast Ethernet interface. It also provides the functionality and resources for the Cisco device. Now we can see two additional network module in the screen. The first module is NMHTV2. What is its functionality? This module provides DSP which stands for Digital Signal Processing. This helps to convert our voice into small electronics packets. In this network module, we can see the memory and processor available in this module. So the each module will have its own memory and processor that required to process the function of that module. The another one is the 16 port Ethernet port, where we can install this module into a router. Then we get a functionality of switch in that router we will get the 16 Ethernet port and these Ethernet ports are with power over Ethernet. That means we can use these Ethernet ports to power up some devices like the camera, uh, access point, etc. Now let's talk about the network interface cards. Network interface cards are the add-on cards that can be installed inside the network module of the devices to get more interfaces and features. There are two major types of card that we can use in a network device. They are WIC that is stands for WAN interface cards and the second one is also another WIC that is for voice interface cards. So what is the WIC cards? WIC stands for WAN interface cards. It provides the wide area network connections to the networking devices. For example, here we can see Two sample WAN interface cards. One provide the DSL interface and another card provide two serial interface. So when we are in the requirement of additional wide area network connections, we can use WAN interface cards in our Cisco devices to get this additional connectivity and more features. Now let's talk about the voice interface cards. So the VIX stands for Voice Interface Card. It provides the voice over connection to our Cisco devices. So consider two examples here. 
one is wic 2 fxs another one is vwic 2 mft t1 card so the first voice interface card provide two analog fxs interfaces fxs stands for foreign exchange system we can plug two analog devices into this card it can be a fax modem or old telephony etc this is provide the analog connectivity on the other hand the second interface card provide the digital connectivity there are two interface available in that card to provide the digital connectivity to the our devices for example e1 or t1 connection so these are the example of voice interface cards there are multiple voice interface card available in the market as per our requirement we can install these cards in our cisco device and use its feature but please make sure that the device and its ios version is support this feature now let's discuss about the network modules used in the chassis switches chassis switches has modular electronic circuit board that are called blades in the screen we can see one chassis switch it is a box type switch with multiple modular electronic circuits that are called blades so this blade can be removed and install the network module there as per our requirement blades are mainly used to install the supervisor engine or interface modules supervisor engine control the intelligence and resource of the switch it's also known as the brain of the chassis switch so here in this picture we can see the supervisor engine this module control the entire operation of the chassis switch here we can see there are two supervisor module installed in the chassis switch why there is two supervisor module because it is for the redundancy in case if one supervisor module is fail there is still another supervisor module to control the operation of the chassis switch now let's talk about the interface module the interface module could be any network module which contain the interface here we have an example of an interface module with 48 sfp so in case if we want to use this sfp module in the chassis switch we can install this module in one of the blades and then we have the 48 sfp ports for the connectivity in this chapter we have explored the common cisco modules installed in cisco router and switches for the added connectivity we have explored the common interface cards that can be installed in cisco devices and finally we have explored about the blades supervisor engine interface modules in cisco chassis switches thank you for watching subscribe to the channel for more videos